Martin de Porres, the saint whom we celebrate today, despite poverty, the lack of acceptance in his childhood, took a positive attitude toward life. He was born in Lima, Peru, of a free African woman and a Spanish nobleman who refused for many years to acknowledge his son because the child had inherited the features and dark complexion of his mother. After the birth of a sister, the father abandoned the family and the children grew up in poverty, locked into a low level of Lima's society. When he was uh, 12, his mother apprenticed him to a barber surgeon from whom he learned to cut hair and to use the healing powers of herbs. Eventually, he became a lay brother in the order of the preachers and uh, became known as the best friend, the best friend poor people in Lima, Lima ever had. He founded an orphanage and took care of slaves from Africa. He worked in the kitchen, laundry, and infirmary. His life reflected extraordinary gifts, ecstasies that lifted him into the air, light filling the room where he prayed, by location, miraculous knowledge, instantaneous cures, and remarkable rapport with animals. It seems that he could even talk to mice, right? <laughs> His charity extended to all creatures. He remained a humble servant of God. His attitude of humility, sense of social justice, and discipline to serve the poor made him a saint. So in, 19, in um, 1962, Pope John Paul XXIII canonized him and named him Martin as the, uh, named Martin as the patron saint of all those working for social justice. So according to our uh, responsorial psalm today, the man who is gracious and lends to those in need is blessed. Martin was blessed because he looked past the challenges of his own rejection and poverty and provided for the needs of the poor. Are we ready to assume Martin's attitude, look past our own challenges, and find ways to help those with needs? <laughs>